Hello and welcome to episode two of Honestly with Ashley. This is my Spoke TV series in which I review anything and everything in the home category. The first episode was all about candles and I asked you guys to let me know in the comments what you wanted to see next and Josephine asked for something in the food space. So today I am reviewing non-alcoholic mixers or aperitifs. Is that how you say it? Operative? Yeah, sure. So we have two. We have one from Gia, one from Kin. We also have, I'm saying we because my husband Maddie will be joining me on this one. Um, we also have Bar Kit. So this is a very fancy one from CB2 for $60. Comes with a marble base. And then we have a more affordable one from Target from the Jungalo Opal House collection. It didn't come with a case, so I put it in actually a repurposed empty candle jar. So we will be reviewing all of these today. Okay, so Gia is $33 a bottle. It's made with botanicals. It's pure natural extracts, no added sugar, no caffeine, no artificial flavors, vegan, kosher, all of that. Kin is $39 a bottle, gently caffeinated to spark energy at a social gathering. It's also one of the co-owners is Bella Hadid. Yeah, so Kin has a little bit of caffeine. It has the celebrity endorsement. Gia is more natural. Both of them say to shake well before opening okay. and drinking. Very so I'll cool. shake this one. And you can add alcohol to these or you can drink these uh, like with any kind of bubbly of your choice, so tonic water, sparkling water, or you can make like straight up mocktails and they both have a bunch of recipes on their site, but we are gonna try them on their own first just to get a taste of what they taste like. So I have a question because I know really nothing about aperitifs. Mm -hmm. Like so far, these seem like um, fancy like V8 or something like that. Like how they look, I, it's interesting the way they look. They look like very cloudy, like um, like a, they're only like a fruit juice or something, right? I like, think they're, they're, there's a lot of like botanicals, natural ingredients. They don't have added sugar. I just put a little bit so we can just taste oh, them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think they're just supposed to be like, make you feel like you're having like a fancy cocktail. Like maybe you're pregnant or you're sober or whatever, oh. or it's during the day and you want to, like I love a cocktail, but I don't always want to drink alcohol. That's what you use this for. Oh, okay, cool. So, cheers. Cheers. I don't like that at all. Oh my god. And you're, you 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 can drink them alone? Is what you were told or what you read? Did or did we just make it or did we just make a I mistake? Think, I think Gia specifically said you can. And well, I think Kin says that you can mix it. Okay, well drink Gia. Here's the thing. Kin is oh, like Kin God. is like way better. Kin is like way better. We, we might be reacting too hard to like drinking them on their own because like we do we know for sure that you can drink it on your own? This is like drinking like Dayquil. <laughs> I'm glad this isn't sponsored. It's a, uh, it's a very strong flavor, so I <laughs> <laughs> All right, first up, Maddie is going to make a cocktail using the Jungalo Collection tools with Gia. So okay. we are making a mohi toaster, which is a recipe from their website. It has lime juice, sparkling water, agave, and mint. So it's like a mojito. It's like a mojito. Yeah, a mocktail cool. mojito. All right, so I'm, let's start with the Gia. Um, I'll use, oh, oh boy, one of these... Um, a nice detail for the jungle is like this little star burst thing at the end. Yeah, what's it called? Like on, on a cowboy's boot? Isn't oh, it like, spur? Yeah, spur. It's got a little, a little spur, spur on it. Another nice detail about the jungle measuring one is it has the ounces on the inside. The CB2 one does not have that. Oh, okay. Uh, how much gear? Two there? ounces. So we're doing uh, two of these. So I'll do like four ounces, I guess. I think we could just share one. Uh, yeah, okay, cool. Share one. Okay, I think that's good because you're topping off with the sparkling water. And then okay. should we mix it? Yeah, maybe it's like mixy mixy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. this is the mohi toaster. 
<laughs> I'm like a very scared. You know what? It's good. Okay. It tastes like um maybe more kind of like a Moscow mule because the ghee is so ginger forward. It's still it's still pretty bitter in my opinion. Like even with I, I think I put even more agave than called for cuz I I don't know. It's still very I think ginger. It's a yeah. sol- it's a strong flavor. It's, I also it's a had lot. some people reach out to me and say that they drink this with ginger beer. Um which I guess could complement it or be like even it was more. Not, yeah, I would think I'd I want know. something like to, like to to complement ginger, like gin, not ginger beer. I think this is this, this is like refreshing now. It yeah. just it still has that aftertaste that is not super appealing to me. Yeah, it's um, it's not my fave. Honestly, it's not our fave. <laughs> so next we're doing kin. Yes. And this is the Kin Classic, which is basically like a gin and tonic. Oh my gosh. I think it's a little bit, put like a, like a little splash more. Like, there you go. One whole line. My Tom Cruise moment. I think yes. I kind of like the, uh, I like the, the Target one better. I also love gold. Yeah. And I like the spur. So- that is... That is really, really bad. The aftertaste is... I think Gia's better. I think Gia, I think Gia at Gia, least has, like, well, the ginger flavor, and you can add to it to enhance it or make it more subtle. I think when we tasted them on their own, the Kia... The Kia... Kin? Kin? Is it Kin? Kin? Kin was, like, the least offensive because it was, like, the most muted. It was muted. very offensive to me. I well, at first, but, like, like then you had to try the Gia, but the Kia, the Gia is, like, well, way more potent. Well, then the Gia potent. was just, like, ginger. Yeah. The Gia is, like, way more potent, but I guess that's, like, kind of the name of the game when you're doing a mixed drink. You want something very potent. This is, like, the, you want the backbone. This tastes very, like, healthy. I don't... I mean... Like, there's no sweetness. There's nothing to make it taste good. So maybe this goes to the next round and we do a little bit of a champagne kind of situation with this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, was the, what was the recipe you saw that had champagne? I don't know. Maybe I made it up. Oh, my God. Gia's the winner. That mocktail was pretty good. And I think if you are somebody who likes to make drinks... You could definitely make one that tasted better than what we made. Yeah. Like, absolutely. But I think I think this and is... And it a, has more potential. This is a good, good call we're doing here. This is going to be like a super simple approach. We have a bottle of sparkling wine and the Gia. Cheers. I think it needs some sweetness for sure. For sure, for sure. I think you really could make a very tasty mocktail. (laughs) I really do. I think you could make a very tasty mocktail if you know how to balance a drink, which we inherently don't Don't, know. Don't know. We do not make drinks at home. Yeah. Thank you so much for joining us for episode two of Honestly with Ashley. Episode three will come out next month and it will be a category that is in the home. You can use this item in a bathroom or in a kitchen. Leave your guesses for what it is in the comments. Um, And if you have a recipe that you really like for these aperitifs, leave it in the comments. Let us know how we can make these better because we still have them. We're open to trying them again and letting you know if our opinion changes. Are we? And that's the episode. Uh, follow along for more. You can follow Spoke at Spoke on Instagram. You can follow me at Ashley Hosmer. You can follow Matt- Maddie if you want. He doesn't post anything. I don't post anything, so don't follow me. I think <laughs> I think we should wrap this up by cheersing and having another sip of this to wrap this up. Cheers. Did it get better? A little ice, a little more watery? No, yeah. it's the aftertaste. It's yeah. the aftertaste. Okay, well. The mock, the, give me the mocktail one. This is the mojito one. That's, that's good. That's almost good. That's almost good. It's almost good. Honestly, it's almost good. 